what's going on guys jake the happy snake here and welcome back to pokemon fire red this is the first episode that i am recording of the series with my new microphone so if i sound different than i did in the last episode or last several episodes actually then that is why and actually fun fact this is the first episode of the series that i've recorded not using my blue yeti microphone since april 30th of 2013 yeah the the last episode I had recorded for a half decade until I brought it back in August of 2018. But anyways, um, in the last episode, I finally made it here to the Rocket Warehouse. And I actually ended the last episode off in frustration because I didn't really know where to go. But now I do. And uh, I actually got out of the out of the rock warehouse off screen by using my only escape rope because i didn't really have the patience to get out of here manually quite frankly so yeah but anyways i think i know where to go now knock on wood let's see okay so we'll go over here okay now you don't touch any of these arrows bam ba boom this is slug. <gasps> I, I had been talking about Sludge Bomb. I had been talking about it. Now, I'm actually going to save. You know why I'm going to save? Because I... If I screw up, then I can just reload my save, and then I can just be right here. Uh, oh, that's a trainer that I have not actually battled yet, I'm pretty sure. And you know what? We're going to teach that right now. I have been talking about getting this for so long, and I had never bothered to look up where to get it. But now I don't have to because now I have it. And I'm so happy about that. So we're going to teach that to Connor without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, but Jake can learn it too. Jake is a poison type. I'm actually kind of in a bit of a pickle. Sludge Bomb is... Um, is it physical? No. It's special. What does your attack look like? You have more physical attack. What does Jake look like? Jake's got more physical or got more special attack, and Sludge Bomb is special. The only problem is I don't know what move to get rid of. Dang. Connor, um, you know what? Jake is used as my Grass type though, so you know what? I'm gonna go Sludge Bomb for Connor, even though he's got Acid, but Acid isn't really that good. I mean, at, I mean Sludge Bomb. It's literally like more than double the power of acid. So you know what? We're gonna, yeah. I know um, Jake doesn't have, I mean, Jake should have toxic at least. I'm not really sure why to, um, I gave um, Charlie toxic in 2018, but I did. Uh, by the way, who am I using? Miles use Connor, try the new sludge bomb. Bam, here we go. I got worried about you from the others, but there's no way a kid like you knows, or a kid like you, uh, Excuse me, I can't read, but there's no way a kid like you'd know our boss, Giovanni. Why? Like, that seems weird grammar. But anyways, I battled Giovanni, what, three times? So you're kind of dumb. Anyways, he's got a Hypno, which actually might not be a... Might be kind of dangerous to be sending out my poison type, but I don't care. Anyways, Sludge Bomb. That should do a decent chunk. Of course not, because he's a poison... Or he's a... A psychic tank, but he did get poisoned, and now I'm gonna be confused. So that's great. That's just wonderful. Oh, brother. Alright, anyways, he's hurt by the poison, so that's good. So now I'll just go with strength. If I'm if I hurt myself in confusion, that's fine. But I didn't. See, of course, the one time I'm okay with being hit in confusion, guess what? I'm not. At least if it goes. Anyway, and another hypno. So we'll stay in. Okay, now I could be wrong, but I think maybe in this episode, the after, like this, like with all the islands, like I feel like I actually might be done because I think the R R Rocket Warehouse was the last I had to have to do, but I'm not sure. because This is the first time I've gone through these islands and wow, I'm surprised that actually was a 1k on the first time it wasn't. But anyways, you, or don't you dare laugh. <laughs> you mean like that? Too late. All right, anyways. Uh, all right, we got another, another trainer over here. It's a female rocket member. I don't know or care if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I just put my faith in Giovanni and I do as I'm told. Well, that's a very good employee for you. Like, for you to do that. You're a very good employee. Anyways. Oh, she's an admin. Interesting. Okay, so you have a level 52 muck. So I'm glad that I started off with Connor. We're going to go with Earthquake. 
Let's see. Oh, no. I don't want to KO. And you minimize. That's fine. Minimize all you want. And an Arbok of your own. I'm using an Arbok. Here's level 53. Wow, these are high levels. I'm actually impressed. First a Muck and now an Arbok. Like, that's actually interesting. That's actually cool. I'm t I don't like these Team Rocket members that have, like, you know, five coughings. You know what I mean? Oh, and you have Earthquake of your own. Wow. That is cool. That's actually smart. She's actually... A, this is actually a tough trainer. I'm not going to lie. She's actually smart. She knows what she knows what she's doing. Anyways, I probably wasted an earthquake there to be quite honest, but whatever. Okay. And Violet Plume is last, so we are gonna go over to Charlie. And Connor's very close to level 60, which is great. So they are Charlie Charlie and Connor are very close to not being way behind in levels, which I'm very happy about. Uh Fire Blast. Didn't it? Ariana, what's her name? Ariana, the admin in Heart Gold Soul Silver. She had a Bob Plume, I think. Bob Plume, Arbok, and Murkrow. So actually, two of the three Pokemon that this girl has. So maybe this is actually Ariana. I don't know. Ariana Grande. You're doing things according to your beliefs and moral uh, yeah, morals. I understand now. I made it so you can come back in through here. Why don't you get rested and refreshed for what lies ahead? The admin here. And the admin after me outranks the uh, outranks me third. Thoroughly, as a trainer, you better steal yourself a one harsh challenge. So I can leave and then go up like that. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, I am back. I healed up. And I got Lily out of my PC and put Johnny back in the PC. And I'm ready to take on this so-called very tough trainer. I'm not really afraid. So, let's go up here. That's quite enough of you playing the hero, kid. Spreading lies about how Team Rocket has disbanded. It's such an obvious attempt to cause confusion in our ranks. Fortunately, we're not so ignorant to fall for the lies of a child. And now I'll show you how scary an angry adult can be. Alright, so he talks like he's tough. But is he tough? He doesn't look tough. He looks like a normal Team Rocket member. He's got three Pokemon, okay. So you have a Golbat. Well, I made a good choice starting off with Lily. Uh, I'm just gonna go right with the shockwave. I could sing, but I'm not gonna bother. I guess singing is very inaccurate, and I don't really need an inaccurate right now. I need perfect accurate. And that wasn't proper grammar, but anyway. So he's gonna go with Sludge Bomb, okay. Uh, okay, well that's just lucky, man. You know what, who cares? Because, I, I mean, he's dead. Unless he heals or switches out, which he's not gonna heal. So, yeah, he's dead. So there's one Pokemon down. All right, this should get Lily to level 62, which is exciting. All right, who's your second Pokemon? It is a Weezing. I don't like Weezing at all. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to Jake and we're going to use Hyper Beam. I had considered getting rid of Hyper Beam for Sludge Bomb, but I'm glad I didn't because I'm hoping Hyper Beam can knock this thing out in one hit. However, it's still 54, so I don't know. Actually, pretty good chance that it won't knock him out in one hit, but let's see. Wow, it didn't even do half. It's okay, he's using Sludge Bomb, which is normally effective. But I mean, it can't poison me, right? So I'm not really concerned. I'm just gonna go with a Razor Leaf for two. We'll see what this does. And then I'll just go with another Hyper Beam. Okay, so that's perfect. So I'll just go with another Hyper Beam, and then you're dead. And then I can switch out. This isn't even bad. I mean, I might jinx it. I might be getting a little bit too confident, but... This isn't even bad, so I don't really know what this guy is talking or what the girl is talking about. This guy too is talking about how angry an adult can be. I don't even like wheezing. I don't do very well against wheezing because I don't have any poison types, but that was not bad. And you have a Hound Doom, so I'm going over to Isaac and Hydro Pumping you. Yeah, this wasn't really difficult. I'm not really sure. I mean, this is more like a. This is actually, I just realized, maybe, is this supposed to be like the um, the admins from Heart Console Slaughter? Because the one guy, I think his name is Archer. No, not Captain Archer. I think he has a Houndoom as well. And a Houndor. Anyway. Bam. Wow, that was not even difficult. That wasn't even a... How was that even a challenge? Okay. You were too strong. That's... 
Giovanni's badge. So it's true. Team Rocket really has to expand it. Wait, me having Gi Giovanni's gym badge means that it is expanded? We will abandon this warehouse, but don't think this is over. I won't let this be the end. I will find Giovanni and we will resurrect Team Rocket. I will until then. Farewell. So that's so they disband until gold and silver happens, basically. Anyway, what does this guy have to say? Apple's managed to sell. Oh, there's no forgiveness for you? So you're a trainer. Oh, I actually didn't think this guy was going to be a trainer. Okay, you've got five Pokemon. Oh boy. All right. No problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. Big problem. Sonic Boom! Like the game. That game for the 3DS that's apparently really bad. Okay, can make a kick hit, hit? Thank you. Jeepers. All right. Electrode. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna switch out and go over to Connor because Connor's got Earthquake, and if you keep using, if he keeps using electro, electro traps, then that's great. Connor will get to level sixty, which is nice. So it's weird, really weird. So Team Rocket's gone, but there's still a scientist here who wants to take me down. Okay. Alrighty, anyways. Porygon? Okay, so I guess we are going back to Lily. So who knows? Connor might not actually get to level 60. I don't even really know. Porygon has Lily's Q charm. That's weird. Perfect. Okay. Porygon goes down. Next up is a Magnemite. Go back over to Charlie. Go back over to I mean, Charlie hasn't been used in this episode yet, but. Uh, Flame Wheel. Okay, this is actually like a really boring battle, I'm not even gonna lie. Who's your last guy? It's a Magneton, so we'll stay in and we'll go with Fire Blast. And actually, that this would have been, I just realized that would have been a great opportunity for Connor to get to level 60, but you know what? That's my bad. Oh well. Uh, there we go. God darn, darn, darn. Okay. If I can't sell it, it's worthless. Go ahead, take it. Didn't I already get the Sapphire? I already got the Sapphire though, did I not? Wait a second, what did I find? Am I stupid? Did, did he take it? Did he steal it? I thought I got it. Huh, I'm not very bright apparently. Um Okay, anyways, guys, I think it's time to actually fly back to one island. Or I guess I can't fly back to one island, so let's fly back to the base of Five Island and then we'll take the boat back to one island. And I have a feeling like I was saying earlier that I think the storyline's about to be over because we got the sapphire. I, I guess I must have missed something when I was in the um the circle path or whatever that place is called, Circle Cave or or no, the dotted cave. I don't know, whatever that place is called. Uh, I think I went in there in the last episode or the episode before. Um, I guess he must have gotten the sapphire or something. I thought I got it, but whatever. Anyway, so now I got it. I have it now, so now I can head back to... No, I don't want to go back to Vermilion. No, I love the music here, but I would like to go to One Island. Sea Gallop High Speed 7, okay. All right, now we can go back and talk to Celio, rather than Wallerain. All right. We added the Sapphire to Celio. What does he say? So this is the gem that forms a pair with the Ruby. JT just, you've gone through a lot to get this. Yeah, yes I have. You don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. How's my turn to work for you? Please give me a little time. Okay, this is good. 
Okay, let's go. What does he do? I did it. I linked up with Lynette? That is cool. Lynette from Poland. I did it. I've managed to link up with trainers in the Hoenn region. Finally, the network machine is fully operational. JT says, it all to you. Thanks to you, my dream came true. So does this mean that we can trade? I'm not crying. It's enough about me. We're gonna keep looking for exotic Pokemon, right? I wish you the best of luck. Well, guys, you know what this means? Now I'm able to catch a certain Pokemon. Its name rhymes with Spewtwo. So, I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be going after that Pokemon in the next episode. So we're going to fly to Cerulean. And we're going to end off the episode there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad that, that, that the after game storyline is finally over. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode where we're going to go after a, a, another legendary Pokemon. I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Peace out.